Hey, what's up guys? Flurpolder here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Insanity Survival. Now, I did a stream where I went ahead and put my house together. As you can see here, we finished it up. It's absolutely beautiful. If you want to go see that stream, go check it out. I will probably link it in the description below, or it'll be at the end of this video, maybe. Uh, but I am finally getting around to editing this video. I recorded it before I actually did the stream. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Just gonna jump right into it. Today, I don't actually have anything planned. I just started recording because a blood moon is rising. This is actually the first blood moon I've ever experienced. So, I want to actually go experience it and not hide and hopefully things will go well i turned off keep inventory because of the new quantum backpack i can just keep everything safe i want to see what there is during the blood moon because we can't sleep it off we have to just go out face things i actually need more string i think i mean i could use a bit more to make some of those pouches so that i could um make or upgrade my backpack space some more and different things like that and also just you know oh crap <clears throat> no 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 nope Yup, don't blow up my ender pearls. Okay, that's not fair. Oh god, maybe this isn't a good idea. Because it means increased mob spawns, which also means increased chance of infernal mob spawns. Which is not gonna be a smart idea. Ah, okay. I have to actually face the mobs. I can't, like, escape them because they just keep pulling me back. <laughs> this is actually brutal and I love it. We have a lot of health, so we should be fine during this blood moon, to be honest. Hey, hey, hey. Bad. Very bad. Inferno Creeper! He needs to die. Arr. Please die. Oh, I didn't want him to explode. It's great and brutal at the same time. Okay. My armor's gonna be pretty shredded after this, though. Maybe I should run and hide. Maybe that's a smart idea. Yeah, we're doing good. Oh my god, there's so many mobs, though. Oh, two infernal mobs. This is not a good idea. My sword! Hey! No, no. They better not blow up my sword. I'm just gonna say that now. Okay, I gotta get back to my sword. Sword, sword, sword. Okay, okay. This is not a good idea. I don't like that they can just steal my sword. Can we talk about that? Is there a way I can make them not steal my sword? I need to get into my house. I need to get into my house, and I need to live. I need to just get away. Oh my god. I need to actually come up with something else to do for this video. Launch me! You didn't launch me. Ah! Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing spawned. We're good. It's not even happening right now. Alright guys, so I waited out the Blood Moon just chilling here and kind of looked into some of the backpack mod stuff, learned a couple things, and it's some pretty good things to be honest. I finally found out how to actually dye a backpack and how to properly name it, because as you can see, this one, no, the, let me go into this one, this one, it's named Important Stuff, it's for my important stuff obviously, it's pretty neat, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. I kind of broke some things there. I need to go into this one. Yeah, some of the GUIs are a bit weird. Um, something you can, I learned you can do, you could do, like, let's say I could pull this up, my crafting recipe, and then I could pull up my other backpack, or go back, and then I could even pull up this backpack, and then open up another backpack doing, like, uh, that, and then open up this one. I can open up two backpacks at once, which is actually pretty sweet. And the way you actually... Uh, color it and rename it. I'm gonna try it with this one because I don't want it to be yellow, but it's the one I tested. You would take dye and I think lapis lazuli should work and you just right click it. Yeah, right click it inside the backpack like you would with the um... Ow. 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 Why? I am trying to do important things here. At least my house didn't burn down. Ooh. Curse of Vanishing. Alright then. I'll keep those. I can actually make another uh, thing. And then how you would rename it would be, you take this in here. I'm actually gonna, well, I guess that one's technically already renamed. I used an anvil for that one. How you'd properly do it is like this, and you would name it, uh, let's say, random stoof. And then save, and there it is, random stoof. Then we have gear, and our other one. And we're actually gonna throw these in here. Our gear, our random stoof. And I, I have this other sign that I'm just gonna throw away. So that's actually pretty cool. Learned a little something about this mod. I'm actually gonna take that and take my leather. And we're gonna quickly make up a... Not that. Uh, I can make two more pouches. So let's do that. Let's make these two pouches. 
Let me throw that away. Let me grab out this backpack because I actually need to expand it a bit more. My other ones are actually... Oh, this one is two now. So now all three of my backpacks, actually technically four because my quantum one, which is technically this one in here, all four of my backpacks are fully, uh, yeah, full, fully upgraded so they can't have any more space. I'm going to throw some random stuff in there. I don't know what I'm going to do quite yet with this one. Right now it just kind of holds my other backpacks, but I'm going to throw like anything like if I get more string. Uh, and stuff like that that I get from mining adventures. I'll throw it in here and I think that's pretty cool So if you look over here in this section uh, th This section I added some new mods and I want to look into some of these mods. They're nothing too spectacular This one I'm kind of interested in or berries I'm not sure if this will work out though since the world was already loaded in because these might not spawn in not 100% sure. If you guys know let me know down in the comments. If not, I'll just look around underground for these and then there's also these uh babbles rings potion fingers i don't know what to call it they're pretty cool i'll get into those that's what i'm gonna plan on getting into today but there's also portal guns which to do that i need a nether star so i need to kill the the wither boss eventually i do have a, a one of the wither skulls right now so that's one out of the three down but today i want to look into getting one of these rings so to make a potion ring i need one lapis block and four gold to make a base ring and then from that ring you can make different rings like that unfortunately there's other like things i can do but i think i can only have two rings in this slot and this slot so i can get like speed and then throw another speed and get speed two or i could go haste two i could go resistance two i could go jump boost two strength two or i could do strength one speed one there's all kinds of different things i could do i kind of want to work with some of these and see what i can get because i can get like uh, I can get resistance, like I said, I can get speed, which I kind of want to go for. Uh, strength is going to be easy, so I'm, I might even go for strength, and I might mix them up every now and then. And I want to get regeneration, but unfortunately, I only have one ghast here, so I can't go with regeneration. I can get speed, however. Yeah, we would do that. I actually don't know if we'll have enough for this. Now I think about it. Let me throw this in the middle there, because that'll make this easier. Yeah, no, I have, I have enough for four rings. So that's... Actually, I think that is enough. I think that's how much I need. Because I need one of these. So that'd be two of those. And then... I need... Oh, no, that, that only made one. Because I gotta throw the other ring in there. My bad. My bad. Sorry, you're getting used to this. So there's two rings there. And then we would do speed. And then another speed. Okay, so then you would throw them here. And I'm pretty sure you could only... Yeah, you can only have two at a time. But I can get permanent speed two, which is actually pretty cool. Or... I could go permanent strength too, which is actually pretty freaking hype. I definitely want to get regeneration in the future. Resistance could be kind of cool as well. I forgot to show, I think I showed this off. I might have, I might not have. I have a little spawner over here, which I have uh, some shadow fragments over here. It's a spawner for, well, you'll see in a second, these little, these little beautiful things right here. These shadow creatures, which actually, okay, so I don't one shot them. I want to see if I can make it so I can one-shot them. Do I have both on? I do have both strength ones on. Huh. With a strength hit like that, or with a crit hit, I definitely do. All right, guys. So we are now back at our house. I think I want to work a little bit more on the Abyssal Craft mod and then kind of end this episode because I think we've done enough stuff here. And I'm just going to get this out of the way because it's annoying me. So looking into some things that we could do. Obviously, we want to take the shadow uh crystal shadow gem and we want to take that with uh with this to make the shards of oblivion we need more shadow gems actually i don't have any but i do have some of the shards to make it but first we need to make the transmutation gem right here and we need to do a ritual for that and to get that we need the corallium pearl and to get that we need to do either the Perlicent Corallium Ore, which I don't know how to get, or this right here, which I do know how to get, and hopefully have enough for it. I don't know if you can use normal stone. I see polished andesite stone. Okay, yeah, we can use normal stone, so let me see. I'll go ahead and cook some up, because I don't know if it's if cobblestone works, so let's go ahead and cook that up. We also did install another mod, and I'm going to look into that later on. It's, um, I forget what it's called. So, First of all, the first thing we need to do is go into here. I think it's in here. Yeah, we need to grab up the Corlilium gems that we have here, and we need to make some clusters. I need to see how many we actually need. Uh, so for the pearl, 
We need... Is there only... <clears throat> There's multiple ones we can make, but I don't... Like, I don't know. They're, they all look the same. I'll just go with this one. It looks simple. We just need three. So if I go into the crafting table, it should be like that. Yeah, let's do that. Three times. There we go. So we got those. And then what was next? Uh, we needed the stone. I need one more piece of stone, I believe. Yep. And then we would take this down the middle like that. And then those like that. And we get the Corlilium infused stone. Which I think I smelt. Yes, I do smelt that. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. And this is what I'm trying to make. So if I look here, there's the recipe. Let me go ahead and grab up this Corlilium pearl. And I actually got to go somewhere for this. I'm going to just do it because it's going to be like dark in the area. Anyways, this V2, absolutely beautiful. So we got to get somewhere in the dark lands. I remember this area is here. I'm not sure how this is going to work 100%. This is the first ritual I've done in this mod, so it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to have to kill a couple things around the area just so that they're not bothering me. I think this is where we need to do it. <clears throat> yeah, I am pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. This is the one we're on right now. Transmutation gem is created by infusing a Quillen Pearl with diamond, ender pearls, and blaze powder. Requires energy of 300. So do I kill things? I don't... <clears throat> Sacrifice is required. No, this 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 requires energy, but how do I I don't understand. Let me look up um, at This so, okay. I Don't know what I would do to get power for it. Oh these things So I need one of these things and I got to do something with that to give it power <clears throat> So I need one of these I don't get the monolith stone though Alright, so looking into it, I'm not 100% sure on what I'm supposed to do. I think there was a thing that said to do that first of all. So it was like, that there, that there, <coughs> excuse me, that there, that there, this here, and then, ow, stop it, stop it. <coughs> Maybe we can do it. Maybe, no, no, let me try this. Let me get this set up and see what we can do. So one of these go here, here here and here and then this in the center right and then it's doing things it's doing things i'm scared <clears throat> i don't know if this is good or bad this could be bad guys because i don't know if it has the power to do it <clears throat> it did nothing it just took my resources and it was like boom lightning here you go have a corallium pearl that I already freaking had. So a monolith is something kind of like this. It was random structures. And I'm pretty sure I saw one before. Not 100% sure. But I think that I did. I just don't remember where. So what I'm going to do. Actually, what's this? <clears throat> Wait, are you what I need? Oh my god, you are. Give me all of this. No, get out of my way. How dare you get in my way. You dirty, dirty stone. I don't need you. I need this monolith stone. This is what I need in my life. I need all of this, and I need it now, and then I need to find out how I'm supposed to get power to it. I'm gonna go with the simple one. Can I get the sacrificial one? That's the one I really need, because that is by death, which is easy. So I need shadow, I need another shadow gem and more shadow fragments. Do I have any more? Oh, I didn't even make any yet. There it is, the sacrificial altar, which I think I need to place near it. And then I just kill things with near it. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure. But I need another pearlescent crystal thing. So I need three of these again. I forget the freaking recipe. So let me figure this out. There's our Corlilian pearl. Let's run all the way back over here to this freaking thing in this other area. My god. Uh, actually, can I just take you around and fill you with energy? Hey, you. <clears throat> ha. <clears throat> did that work? Did, did that do anything for you? Did it? I actually don't know. Oh, yes, it did. It gave it a little bit of power. So we need 300 power. So I need to take this around different various areas. Actually, I have an idea. Oh, my God, guys. How did I not think of this? I'm so stupid. Oh, my God. Hang on. Let me set a quick checkpoint. Yeah, that's the place. All right, spawner. Uh, teleport. All right, here we go. Let's set this right here. Perfect. And now we wait. This should work 
if I'm not mistaken, and it'll also give us some more of these beautiful shadow fragments, which we need to make more shadow gems. Come on, come to me. Die at my hands, you evil, ugly beasts. P please? So if we kill these guys, will this work? It should work if I'm not mistaken. Do they count as sacrifices? Oh, they don't. Do they really not? Really? Really? You're just you're just gonna do me like that? You're just gonna, just gonna screw me like that? I guess we gotta go find. I guess sacrifices only count as like passive mobs, maybe. Okay, guys, we are back. I have this thing charged up to 300, and well, I had to do some things I'm not proud of, but. You know what? It's okay. I actually need to still go and grab up more of those materials because I actually went through all of my other ones in the previous attempt, which was great. Yay. There, 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 and there, and then I think that should be it. We just place this, I don't know, right there, maybe? I'm not too sure. Let's just hope for the best, I guess. <clears throat> that sounds right to me. This sounds creepy as well. <clears throat> it didn't work. Why? Alright guys, so uh, I kind of ended this video and then I was like, no, I can't give up. I went ahead and I cheated in this, but I'm deleting it. I went ahead, deleted that. Because we're gonna get this ritual to work. I figured out what I'm supposed to do, what I was doing wrong, all that nonsense. So I have this charging up. It should be at the right amount. So you're supposed to charge the book up, I believe. Final attempt. Hopefully this works. It's absorbing the energy from my book. It's doing it. I think it's gonna work. Is it? We did it. Oh my god. And in case that uh, I actually cut out that part, I ended up cheating this in originally, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna totally cheat that in and just say screw it, which I'm probably gonna cut all that out. But we got it to work. We figured out how to do this. I, it, I'm i happy. I'm, I'm so glad. So I'm gonna end this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and click that notification bell so you're notified every time I do upload or stream on the channel, and to become a part of the Flirt Fam. And I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Goodbye.